Oh my goodness. The sun came in the mail today. Check this out, boys. So, for the past couple weeks, uh, you guys may have been noticing that I've been getting a hookup from the boys over at Triad Scooters and Oath Components. And like a week ago, one of their riders hit me up and asked if I'd be down to try out some of their parts. So your boy got the hookup, you know what I'm saying? Looks like right here we got the Triad Billy Watts deck. I told Branson, who was actually getting everything together for me, I told him to uh, to surprise me with the color. And honestly, this red is already popping, bro. Check that out. So, yep, we got a deck. We also have... Um, I actually have no idea what this is, but we got another box. And last but not least, of course, guys, we have the Riot Titanium Bars in black. These bars are super sick. They actually have this, I don't know if you can see it right now, but they got this little like curvature near the uh, the center of the bar. Super unique, super original. So uh, we're gonna open these guys up real quick. And get a quick unboxing for you guys. <sighs> hey guys, we're back. And uh, I mean, we didn't go anywhere. What am I talking about? Anyway, guys, so. We're gonna get these unboxings going real quick. I think we should open up the deck first because we started talking about that a little bit already. So let's do that. I totally forgot that you need a razor blade to open this. So uh, hold up. I guess let's just get into it, right? I've never done an unboxing before. Actually, that was a lie. I did it for the splatter go grip tape. Dude, splatter go. Hit me up again. Anyway, guys. So right here, we obviously got the triad uh, deck box. I'm just cutting it open real quick. Gonna check it out real quick. See what we got. I keep cutting things, but I don't know if I need to cut anything else. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Else. Oh shoot! Never mind. So guys, um, I kind of made a mistake. I forgot that um, it's actually the oil slick deck instead of you know the red Billy Watts deck. But you know, hey, oil slick looks super sick as well. Let's get this thing open. Here, it's really hard to do this with one hand. One sec. Okay, we're gonna open this up and check out how it looks. I have no idea if it has grip tape yet, but I guess we'll see. Oh shoot, boys. It does have grip tape and it's freaking sick. There's no way you've ever seen any grip tape like this. At least like straight from the factory. Yo, boys. Hold up, let me cut this thing off real quick. Dude, that was a thick zip tie. Holy crap. Throw out your trash, kids. You will not believe how beautiful this grip tape is. And it comes with the deck, I think. Look at that, guys. This beautiful grip tape job. Look at the look at the colors of this thing. Just insane. Oh, here's some grips that they sent me as well. But that was like last week. So I was wrong and I forgot that I actually ordered this one instead of the Billy Watts. So sorry, Billy. Anyway, this is actually the psychic deck. I made a mistake and forgot that I got that one instead of the Billy Watts. But either way, uh, I told Branson to surprise me with the color and geez, he did not disappoint. Check this thing out, guys. And now now for the reveal of the bottom graphic. Oh my goodness, guys. So basically we got like, I think he was going for more of like a tribal look with this one. You got like this woman with the, looks like a skull on top of her head and like an ace of spades card. Going down, we got the triad logo, of course, and an absolutely beautiful psychic logo, guys. So this is the psychic deck, you guys. Super beautiful color. I wish the camera could pick up like the actual colors of the deck itself, but geez, this thing is beautiful. The color of this deck is just absolutely beautiful. All the welds just look perfect and all the CNC work. Well, and the grip tape, not to mention, is probably one of the more beautiful parts of the deck. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be throwing this on sometime soon, guys. So uh, stay tuned for that. But as you guys know, today's video is just gonna be the unboxing video so we're just checking out what we got in the mail today all right guys now that we've got the deck done we're gonna move on to the bars and then that mystery box I actually don't know what's in that box so uh you guys are gonna be finding out at the same time I am <sighs> okay box number two we got the bars guys so yeah these bars are titanium bars in black and they share the same shape as a lot of your uh, normal T bars but there's a little twist to them and I'm gonna show you guys that in a sec. I don't know that I've ever opened a set of bars like this because I've never really gotten a package from any company like this. So, shouts out guys. If you guys wanna check out Oath components and Triad scooters, definitely check out the uh, top links in the, in the description down there. And also you guys, I'm gonna have a challenge in the comment section. So, the challenge is comment down below what you think these bars weigh, all right? And the winner of that challenge, you guys, is gonna get shouted out in my next video. So make sure go comment down below real quick. Let me know what you think these bars weigh. The first person, or the only person, I guess, to comment it, you get a shout out in your boy's next video. So let's get these things open real quick. Oh wait, I missed these two clips. Rip. Oh wait, never mind, just one. I'm dumb, guys. This is why I ride scooters professionally and not open boxes professionally. Got it. 
Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, we got another one of those super thick zip ties. There's two of them. Oh god. Yes, boys. First zip tie. Cut. Now we can successfully take the bar. Oh, we didn't even we didn't even have to cut the second zip tie. Guys, oh my gosh. These are freaking beautiful. You guys, I did not know that bars could look so good. Oh my goodness. We got a bunch of laser engraving on this, these bars, and honestly, they look freaking beautiful. I cannot believe the attention to detail on these things. It's insane. Even every single little burr on the end of the bar is cut out. That's real attention to detail, guys. A lot of uh, scooter companies nowadays don't even really care about the production value of their their parts because obviously you got like less production costs and all that, but they really focus on the attention to detail and the uh, the quality of their, their parts for sure. So yeah, guys, let me get a, I'll get a couple shots of these real quick and uh, I'll show you guys how they actually look. Okay guys, so got the deck and the bars complete open. That's almost a complete scooter. Honestly, it would look like one if you uh, if you put those on that. But right here, we got our last box, our little mystery box. Not even sure what's in it to be honest. And honestly, uh, I can't really remember what I asked for in this, but you've always got a bad memory. Honestly, I can't even remember my password to my phone half the time. So we're going to cut into this real quick and uh, see what's inside. Every part from this company is so extremely durable, even their tape. You know, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try to cut through that tape. That's just, I'm just gonna embarrass you. This is the curse. The unboxing curse, you guys. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna full send. Oh God. Almost, almost. I just ripped it the rest of the way. I can't really. I'm not gonna try dealing with that super durable tape. Anyway guys, so looks like we do have something to bring this whole build together, guys. It is the Oath Components Shadow Fork in black. This is super sick fork. I actually just got one the other day from them in oil slick, and I'm actually riding that on my scooter right now. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have uh, already seen those. Yeah, honestly, super good fork, like super durable. I actually had another pair of forks before this, not an Oath Components fork, it was some other, I can't remember what kind of fork it was, but um, I rode it like, three times and then bent them. So that's swell. Anyway, the shadow fork, actually, oh my gosh. Oh, I've not seen this color yet. And geez, this is beautiful. Let me uh, show you guys real quick, kind of how how these look. It's not an actual gloss black finish, but it's some, it's like a, it's kind of like a textured black finish. It lo looks super beautiful. Brings the whole look of the fork together. And something unique about these forks is the spacers. And these come with two different size spacers on each side. So that wide spacer you see right there, guys, is for like a normal 24 millimeter wide wheel. But that smaller spacer that you guys see is actually for their 28 millimeter wide wheel or just any 28 wide wheel for that matter, I guess. But you guys, another thing about these forks that is just so interesting to me is this little notch right here. And for those of you guys who don't know what this notch is for, you're about to find out. So this notch is actually right in the center of the fork as you guys can see. And on the other parts in Oath's range, they have the same notch in a line. So I know the clamp has it, I don't know, wait, actually I didn't, I didn't even think about, it. oh my gosh guys. The bars have it too. I was wondering why that was on the front at first, but, but now that I think about it, that lines up with those forks. So as you guys can see, if I were to, I mean, this isn't how you do it, but if I were to put the fork in the bars, that little notch lines up perfectly. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but lines up perfectly with that line. And a little something I haven't shown you guys yet. They sent me a clamp as well, or it was an SCS, and it has the same thing on it, guys. Wait, guys, check this out. It is really subtle, but as I was saying earlier, uh, this company's attention to detail is like, unmatched guys okay first off check this clamp out guys this thing is absolutely beautiful the coloring is so nice there we got that repeated kind of notch feature and then also right here for when you're looking down your bar trying to get your alignment all lined up and just look at this thing guys the the color and attention to detail is just absolutely beautiful so uh here let's uh let's real quick i mean obviously again this isn't how you do it but so let's see if you were to put the fork on and then the bar on 
Oh my goodness, absolutely perfect fit. Let me show you guys real quick how perfectly this lines up. It's absolutely insane. As you guys can see, we have our laser etched line on the bars lining up perfectly with the little notch in the clamp. And then down by the bottom of the clamp, you can see how the notch kind of comes down and lines up perfectly with the fork. So yeah, just absolutely beautiful attention to detail. Check this clamp out, guys. I can't get over this thing. So yeah, guys, that's everything we got in the mail today. We're gonna be putting this on for a future video really soon. We're probably just gonna build up a whole new scoot, to be honest, because we have, obviously, these grips. We got, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Guys, we have the 120 wheels. Let me go grab those real quick. Okay, guys, these wheels. Oh my gosh, this scooter's gonna look so good. So guys, these are the 120 stalker wheels that they sent me. These are absolutely beautiful as well. And like I said, guys, they have that wider uh, 28 millimeter core. These will be utilizing those those smaller spacers in the fork. But geez, I cannot wait to throw these things on and uh, just put this scooter together. It's gonna look crazy. Which grips do you guys think I should use, the black ones or the blue and black mix? Comment down below, let me know which ones I should put on the scooter in a future video. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Um, again, big shout out and huge thank you to the guys over at Oath Components Triad Scooters for sending me all these beautiful parts. Just, I appreciate it so much. They're super sick and uh, honestly, I can't wait to build up a scooter with them. So, can't wait to see that. Let me know what you think about these parts in the comment section below and I think that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching, later.